Hey everybody and welcome to HD Piano. My name is Joanna and in today's lesson we're going to look at Mannenberg by Abdullah Ibrahim. In this part I'm going to show you the introduction and the chords and they sound like this. Okay, so that was the introduction and the chords. To check out part two, don't forget to head on over to hdpiano.com. Now, before I break this section down, um, I've got a question for you guys. Now, Abdullah Ibrahim is a famous South African jazz piano player. And I wondered if you guys have any world music styles that you enjoy. Um, could you leave them below in the comments for me? Perhaps leave a link to an artist or a song that you enjoy the most. Okay, let's break this down. So I'm going to begin with my left hand and my left hand is quite low down on the keyboard. So it's the second F down from middle C. So I'm going to come right down to the bottom of the keyboard here and I'm playing basically around the three primary chords that we have in F major. Well done if you kind of know them already. Don't worry if you don't, we're going to go over them. So we've got an F and then we've got B flat, then C. And then we're going to jump all the way down an octave to the low C. And then again, F, B flat, C, and then C. Okay, did you get that? Now I'm just going to count really simply for this one. So on the every two beats, we're going to play a new note. So we've got one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one. Let's make that four beats in a bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So if that's, you know, quite manageable for you uh, or if you're finding it easy, I've got a kind of a variation on that which kind of makes it a bit more livelier um, and rhythmical, <laughs> rhythmic. And so my left hand is going to play this and watch for the counting on this one. I'm going to add a new note in. I'm going to add an A which passes on to the B flat. So just have a listen. So we've got one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. You guys got that? Okay, let's try again, um, and this time I'm going to break it down. Ready? So we start with the F on one, and then uh, three, and then the and. You ready? One, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. Did you get it? And then we're going to continue on. On the and of four, we're going to introduce the C. One, two, three, and four, and. And again, one, two, three, and four, and then again, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. So in the next bar, on the three, I'm going to play the low C down here. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, and again. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. So hopefully you guys got that. Okay, well done. So um, I'm going to show you the right hand chords now. Are you ready? So uh, we can play them really simply again. So a simple way to do this. We're going to start with an F chord, so we've got F, A, C. Okay, and that goes along with our F in our left hand. And the next chord we can have is a B flat chord. If you want to make it sound a bit more jazzy, you can move your thumb from the F to a G. So we have G, B flat and D. Let's play that again. So we've got an F chord, F, A, C. Two a G, B flat and D. So it looks like a G minor chord, doesn't it? 
but in the bass you're going to have a B flat chord. So it actually is a B flat six chord. So instead of having an F, which is the five, we're going to move along and that's the sixth one. Just makes it a bit more jazzy. And the next chord we have, we're going to have go back to our F chord. So, so far we've had F and then to a G minor in our right hand and then back to F. Now you have a few choices on this part. Um, I am going to go back to a G minor chord now. So really there's just like two right hand chord shapes that you're doing. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a few more variations as well. Don't worry if you want more of a challenge. So we start with an F chord. Then we go to G minor. Then back to G, uh, F, sorry. And then back to G minor. So let's just see what that looks like with our left hand. Are you ready? So uh, I'm just going to do the simple version of the left hand that we learned at first, counting two for every left hand note. So we've got one, two, 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 one, two. One, two. <laughs> okay, right, let's add it with the uh, more rhythmical version, <laughs> rhythmic version of the left hand notes. So here we're going to play um, F first in our left hand. So I'm going to show you with the left hand just because um, it makes it a bit easier to see how the notes fit together. So we start with an F with the left hand and then I'm going to hit on the two, the F chord in my right hand. So we're going to count one, two. Okay, let's continue. And then I'm going to hop up to the A by itself. And then I'm going to go to the B flat. And when I hit the B flat, I play my G minor chord here. So it looks like this. One, two, three, and. And again. One, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. One, two, three, and. You got that? Okay, now um, we're going to hop up to the C next in our left hand, do you remember? And then I'm going to go to my F here. Remember, it comes on the and of four, doesn't it? Let's try that. One, two, three, and four, and. And again, here we go. One, two, three, and four, and. And again. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two. Ha <laughs> ha, getting ahead of myself there. Let's try, let's try that first bit again. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two. Three, four. Let's try adding that low C in for the next bit. So here we go again. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two. Three, four. Okay, so you might have seen a sneak preview of what's next. Are you ready? Let's try it. Let's see if we can get to the end. One, two, three, and four, and 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 one. Two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and okay. Just keep going at it. Once you get into the groove, it's really important to kind of to get into the groove for this piece. Um because we're gonna return to um this groove over and over again in this piece. It really is like the base of this song. So try and practice this um introduction and the chords. Um, over and over and over until you really get a good feel for it and then I think you'll be ready to dive into this piece okay um, so I'm going to just show you to finish up a few variations that you can do with the chords so I, I like to keep the F chord the same 
and then I like the B6 chord as it is with the G minor shape on top and then back to the F chord when you hit the C that's fine and then down here um, sometimes I change it up sometimes it really should be like a C shape down here so um, you can play an E, G and B flat and then go back to the F chord or you can go back to a G minor shape like I showed you then back to the F or I think that's it really you can just play a, re a triad position as well it's up to you so I'm going to try and combine all of those things in I'm going to play very very slowly and loop it round feel free to join in I'm not going to count this time just see how you come along and see how you get it all right here we go Okay, everyone, well done. You've just learned the introduction and the chords to Mannenberg by Abdullah Ibrahim. Head on over to hdpiano.com to tackle the remaining sections. So whilst you're here, also please subscribe, like, and leave us a comment. I want to hear about the world music styles that you love to listen to. And don't forget to look us up on all social media. All right, I'll see you on over at hdpiano.com, the home of hybrid piano lessons.